Hello, Marvin Pierce, dog teacher. We have the owners of Lupa here. We're gonna talk about her. Lupa, Tuesday will be three weeks she's been here. And when she came here, you can tell us about her, how good she was or how bad or whatever you'd like to say. Um, yeah, we struggled with her focusing and listening, um, jumping up and down on us. Um, pretty much that was the gist of the problem. And put her teeth on you, I think? Yeah, yeah, mouthing. Yeah, and now will you show them, will you pet on her a little bit and let's see that how she does without eating you? And when you got her here, she couldn't do that. She would be like yes. putting her teeth on you, mom. Yes. And, and now you've been on, last time you were here, you were out on the ranch with a walk with her off the yep. leash. Yep. And had a lot of fun. And, mm -hmm. and you can notice now she's so wet because she just came back. Dari and Bianca and Carrie all had her out for a walk on the ranch with a pack of dogs. And for me, I feel that's what makes a dog a dog. Whether it be a puppy or an older dog, if they can go be with a pack, it just helps them so much because they get it, especially if you have good dogs, mannered dogs in a pack, they get to learn to start acting like them a lot more instead of being bad dogs. But for me, the bottom line is always is they got to have a leader, an alpha person, not a dog, but a person being a leader. And that's where you two are stepping in now. So, so are you happy with her now? Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, yeah. it's just fun. And she's going to kind of be your therapy dog some too, correct? Yes. And so for me, you've got to have a dog that acts like this. And help make life better not just be a little demon that makes life worse and as long as i feel as long as y'all just follow through the program and the process you'll have that in 10 15 years you'll you'll just be an older great dog and so all right well thank y'all and i'm gonna let y'all go join them on a walk on the ranch all right thanks a lot